So I'm going to draw a cell and we're going to label a couple things first and then we'll go through the details of each, okay? Sound good? Okay. So here's going to be a cell. And just in general cell, it's probably a um, nervous system cell, but it, those look different, but I'm just going to draw it as a circle to make it easier. Okay. So concentrations. What has a high concentration inside the cell? Potassium. Potassium, okay. Great. What's its charge? <laughs> I think it's positive and the outside is... Okay. I mean, so, yeah. cal so potassium is positive. Mm -hmm. Okay. But inside it's negative. So inside the cell is negative. Mm -hmm. Do you know why it's negative? Okay. No. We'll hit that in a second. <laughs> yeah. We'll hit why in a, in a little bit. What's high in concentration outside the cell? Sodium. Sodium. What's its charge? That's positive. What else? There are two other important things. Is it so there's chloride, chlorine. Yeah, yeah chloride. So, and what's its charge? That one is negative. And one more. Calcium. Calcium. Nice. Do you know its charge? It is positive, but more specifically, it's two plus. Okay. So that means it has a little bit more of a positive charge mm -hmm. than the other guys. Exactly, twice the positive charge. But yeah, okay. And the outside of the cell, charge of the charge out here compared to the cell? That one's positive. Positive. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Those are the basics that you have to have. Okay. So let's talk about there were pumps, gates, and channels. Okay. Do you remember what the channel was that you talked about? The potassium. potassium leak channel. Awesome. So, okay, plus, where, where are things going to want to flow because of the concentration gradient? Outside. They're going to want to flow out. Okay? Yeah. And we'll talk about why all the potassium doesn't flow out in just a second. Okay? So, what kind of gates do we have? Mm -hmm. So we have ion gates. They're not called leak gates because the channels leak mm -hmm. things, whereas gates it has something that opens and closes. So you have it. the negative, or negative gates. So so the two there's two different ions yeah. that are more specifically for the voltage gates. So sodium and potassium voltage gates. Okay. Okay. The sodium one has what's called an activation gate and an inactivation gate. Okay? So, sodium would want to flow where? Because of its concentration gradient. In or out of the cell. Inside. So it wants to go inside. Okay. Then we have a potassium voltage gate. Okay? So potassium, bam, it just has one door. Where does it want to flow? Okay, it wants to go outside the cell. <clears throat> now there's one other thing that's really important. It's the pump that you've talked about. You remember what pump? Partially. Both. It's the sodium potassium pump. Okay? So this guy is really important. So what did, do you know what he pumps in? And what he pumps out? Yeah, he pumps in sodium and he pumps out potassium. And vice versa. Okay. Because this requires ATP, right? Okay. So it's pumping um, things against its concentration gradient. So it pumps potassium in. And sodium out. Specifically, two potassium in three sodium out for every one ATP molecule used, okay? So the reason that this is high in concentration inside the cell and this is high in concentration outside the cell is because of this guy. So it gets confusing because it's like one side is going out and then the other side is coming in. What do you mean? Potassium. Yeah, 
So it's being pumped in, but then you're like, but it can leak out. Yeah. So we have a high concentration of potassium in here. So I'm going to address this guy real quick. So how come all of our potassium doesn't just leak out of the cell? If there's all these different leak channels everywhere. It's part of like the inside of the cell. Like it needs to stay. Like some of it needs to stay inside in order to be negative. Yeah. Well, so some we need some of it to stay inside, but because the cell is negative, be charged in here. These guys are positive, right? So the positive forces are attracted to the negative forces. Okay. So potassium has its concentration gradient pushing it out, but it has an electro, an electrical gradient pulling it back in. Okay. okay. Electrical gradients is like the, the charges. charges yeah. yeah. And so it establishes this gradient. So the, um, the concentration gradient and the electrical gradient are called the electrochemical gradient. Okay. okay. So and this is what yeah, so it hits an equilibrium um, in the aspect of not an equal concentration, but a constant. So the same amount of potassium that's going out is the same amount that's coming in. But as I pump more in, then more are going to try to flow out. And so we keep a constant or a fairly constant concentration of potassium inside the cell. So does that make a little more sense? Mm -hmm. So yeah, these things are open for it to flow out, but there's kind of a balance, so we keep a, a steady concentration of potassium inside the cell. Okay. Okay? Cool. So do you remember what these were called, these two gates, gated channels? They were called voltage gated channels. So I'll give you a guess of what's going to open them. Charge. Charge. Voltage. Yeah. So when these get a voltage, if you will, um, they're going to be open. That's what causes them to open. So real quick, the nitty gritties of it are that, so inside the cell is negative, right? Normally, in that sense, positive. Yeah. So if we have an event, a depolarizing event, where the charges, so the positive charges flow in, which locally, so the entire outside doesn't get negative, but right here gets negative relative to everything else around it, this gate is negatively charged, always. So when the negative's there, it repels it and forces it to open. Okay, only, so that would only happen when an event? When it gets a voltage. Mm -hmm. So this event is what causes the voltage, okay? It's not very common, or is it? It's very common. This is how we send signals in our cells, okay? So real quick, I'm gonna draw another picture right here. Do you remember seeing the picture like this in class? Yeah. Okay. So an event that would cause these to open is something that depolarizes the cell. Okay. So like the dash line is threshold, right? Yeah, the dash line was threshold. This was our RMP. So, what's depolarization? What direction? Down, going up. Up. Okay. And hyperpolarization? That one's going in. Okay. So, you saw this graph in class, they talked about it. What does it mean? What is it really talking about? That talks about 
it's basically connected to that. Okay. So what like, is it? Um, I think like if you have more potassium, then that can affect the how above or below the threshold it goes. Okay. Yeah. So so they're connected. Mm -hmm. What this is so real quick RMP resting membrane potential. Okay. So what this picture is a representation of is the charge of the cell compared to the extracellular fluid. So the charge of inside the cell is going to be positive or negative? Negative. See how I put it down at negative 70? So it rests at a negative 70. But if something causes a depolarization, then causing positives to flow inside the cell, then it's going to depolarize the cell mm -hmm. or make it less different, less polar. And so it comes closer to what the outside's like. Okay? Mm -hmm. So some things, um, there's a few different types of things that can cause depolarization. The main one that you talk about are ligand, um, like ligand um, gates, like ligand sodium gates. Some teachers call it ligand. I say ligand. Yeah, maybe we barely started talking about it. Okay. So real quick, do you know what the ligand gates are? No, just maybe we started talking about it. Today. Yeah. It was in the earlier readings when you talked about all the different types of channels and whatnot. Yeah. Um, a ligand or a ligand is a, is, it's a chemical or a protein or it's, it's, to simplify, it's something that's floating around here. That's going to be specific for this receptor. So when this receptor comes in contact with it, it opens up the channel. So we'll say this is a sodium one. Okay, so it opens up and now sodium can flow into the cell. Sodium going inside the cell is positive going where? On the inside. Positive's going to the inside. So is this going to be more positive or more negative? That one's going to be more positive. More positive, which is called hyperpolarization or depolarization? Depolarization. So the sodium coming into the cell depolarizes it. And so that can provide the, the voltage or charge to open up these guys. Okay. Does that so make sense? So that causes gates to, I mean, yeah, gates to be open as well? Like, yeah. So, so this, or this the ligand gate, the ligand gated channel, sodium channel, ligand gated sodium channel is what started this. Mm -hmm. Okay? And this can cause these guys to open, which causes more of this on a, another place on the cell. Mm -hmm. And so it can go down the cell. Okay? okay? So one causes the other. Cool. Okay.